In the today's world full of smart home technology and the virtual assistant, it's pretty easy to get hands on one of those. But for a guy like me and a person like you, we will always prefer to make something our own. So in this video, I will show you how you can make your Amazon Alexa using Raspberry Pi. Hey Alexa. Yes. What's the weather outside? Currently, in Mumbai, Maharashtra, it's 28 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 27 degrees. So let's get started. Alright, before we get started, there are some prerequisite for this video. Number one, you need to have Raspbian OS installed on your Raspberry Pi. And the second one is you need to assign a static IP address to your Raspberry Pi. Now already I have a video on that. You can check them out. I will put the link in the video description. Now all we need is a computer with working internet. So let's jump into it. Alright, once you are on your desktop, fire up your browser. It can be any browser, doesn't really matter. And go to developer.amazon.com. Now over here, click on sign in. Now over here, you need to create a new Amazon account, which is Amazon developer account. You have to create this, your regular Amazon account won't work. I already have it, so I will just use it. Now once you are on your dashboard, go to Alexa and Alexa voice service. Once you are over here, click on products. Now create product. Now over here, you can fill anything. I will just put Raspberry Pi. Here also you can put Raspberry Pi. Now over here select devices with Alexa built in. No over here and in product category you can select smart home. Once again you can put Raspberry Pi over here. This is just description you can put anything. And here don't forget to select hands free and power free. No, no, no and no. Click next now. Now you have to create a new security profile. So click on create new profile. Once again, you can put in Raspberry Pi over here. Okay, so once you are over here, now you need to add allowed origins and allowed written URLs. So for that, first of all, you need to know IP address of your Raspberry Pi. That's why I told you to assign a static IP address to your Raspberry Pi. Now I know my Raspberry Pi's IP address is 192.168.0.100 so I will put that over here but you have to change it slightly. Once you have added the allowed origin, now in just the return URL you need to add the forward slash code in front of all of this. So let's do that. Once you have put this, agree and click finish. And you have successfully created a product. Now just click OK. Once you are over here, once again go on Raspberry Pi which we just created and we have this client ID and client secret and the Amazon ID. We might use this but we have to use this too at least. Now I am accessing my Raspberry Pi using a VMC service. But you can even use a monitor or something like that. Now open the console terminal on your Raspberry Pi. Type cd forward slash opt. Now type sudo app get install git. This will install the github on your raspberry pi which we will use now. Now type sudo git clone https 
colon forward slash forward slash git hub dot com forward slash alexa hyphen pi forward slash alexa pi dot git and hit enter this will clone the alexa pi directory from github on your raspberry pi this will take some time you can sit back and relax until then once you are done type sudo nano space full stop forward slash alexa pi forward slash src forward slash scripts forward slash inc forward slash os forward slash debian dot sh and hit enter now once you are over here we need to edit out this line so just go forward until you see this now once you are over here if in your pi or in your code if it's written vlc dash nox you have to change it to vlc dash bin now in mine it's already vlc dash bin so i will just leave it right over here but if it's vlc dash nox you have to change it so i won't be making any changes now just hit ctrl x once that is complete we finally need to run this last command which is sudo space full stop forward slash alexa pi forward slash src forward slash scripts forward slash setup dot sh and hit enter now over here this will show you the recommended option which is your os debian just copy paste that would you like to also install support airplane yes Okay, so once you are over here, we need to start the configuration. So your device type ID is your product ID. So we need to head back and check that. So this is Raspberry Pi, which is product ID. This is case sensitive, so add the same. So Raspberry Pi. Now enter your security profile description. So let's check that. Security profile and security profile description so this is raspberry pi once again okay so once it asks you for your security profile id it will be this so copy it from here and just paste it over there now your client id which is displayed over here copy this paste it over here hit enter now your client secret which is this paste it and hit enter ok so once it show you this url or this ip address just copy this go into your browser hit it and that's it it will show you you have successfully done that once that is finished all you have to do is connect a usb mic to your raspberry pi right now i am using this blue snowball mic but i will leave the link in the video description to the mics which are compatible with raspberry pi and connect a speaker to your raspberry pi using a 3.5 mm jack now all we have to do is just reboot right now i am using vnc service using my phone to reboot it so let's reboot that now once you be reboot, you should hear Alexa saying hello. So let's wait for that. Hello. So there you go. Hey Alexa. Yes. What's the weather outside? Right now in Mumbai, Maharashtra, it's 28 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Tonight's forecast has thunderstorms, with a low of 27 degrees. Alexa. Yes. Who are you? Alexa is me. I'm a virtual assistant who can help you with lots of things, like timers and alarms, the weather forecast, 
the latest news and sports updates, as well as shopping lists and recipes. I can even tell you a joke, just ask. Alexa. Yes. Tell me a joke. When aliens break wind, it's totally intersmeller. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about such topic like Alexa, then let me know. I will make yes. more videos on that. Not you. Shut up. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Mm. On Alexa's or a Google Assistant. Yes. And sports Alexa, Jeopardy. shut up. Today's world full of smart home technology and smart home assistants. There is no doubt. Yes. Here.